Proposition A is on the ballot this May for the Alice ISD. 3 News reporter Brandon Schaff shows us what's in this $38 million bond. Many of your neighbors will be voting on starting today. The stadium was built 77 years ago, and so uh, it is reaching its end of its life expectancy. Alice ISD Superintendent Dr. Anissa Trevino said an international consulting engineering firm was hired by the district to evaluate Alice Memorial Stadium. She said a new stadium could have more seats and bathrooms, railings to make it ADA compliant, a new field, and more. She said people were invited to tour the stadium throughout the spring to make an informed decision when they vote. We know it's a significant decision and we know it'll impact many lives, not just currently, but in the future. Multiple signs are posted outside the stadium regarding the bond. One explains what's in the bond and another, paid for by a self-described concerned taxpayer, voices opposition to the bond. Adults and kids toured Alice Memorial Stadium on Sunday to see its current condition. Alice resident Raul Ramirez said that he's been to football games there since 1972 and said that it's time for a new stadium that can benefit kids that play there. They need a home to play. Not just these children, but their children's children will be playing in this stadium if it lasts as long as this one did. Cody Reeves, who also lives in Alice, said the current stadium has only five wheelchair slots. He said many people in Alice are wheelchair bound or disabled and changes are needed to better accommodate them. There's no uh, handrails on the steps going up. Uh, it's really, really hard for people to get out and come to the games and support their local coyotes. George Beltron, another Alice resident, said the engineers who evaluated Alice Memorial Stadium need to be trusted and hopes voters keep that in mind regarding the bond. He also mentioned that those opposing a new stadium said that it has nothing to do with education. He said those who coach sports teach kids to become team players, which they can one day bring to their careers. The most valuable thing that we need to assess is not the price that it's going to cost us to build it, but how valuable are these kids to us? Brandon Chef, 3 News. And a reminder, early voting runs through next Tuesday. Election Day is on May 4th.